Hi, I'm Rob Zip, and good morning from the Kirkendall Park and Ride in North Houston. Today is Saturday, April 23rd, 2022, and today is an away game. It's it's not even six. It's about 6:30 a.m. when I'm recording this, and uh, we're we're all meeting here to take buses up to Frisco, Texas, to see our Houston Dynamo FC beat FC Frisco. So come along and join us. This could be a double header because uh, Houston Dynamo 2 are taking on the North Texas Soccer Club uh, in an MLS Next Pro match. Um, I may stay for that or I may not. It all depends on if I can get a ride back here. Hey, what's up? <laughs> anyway, they're going to join me. Why don't you join me on this episode of the most epic adventure? Double Julio action right here. <laughs> we're still in the parking lot, but we're on our way. It is uh, about 7:30 in the morning. Sun's starting to come up. Look at look at the back of Kenny's beautiful head. This is the this is the side I'm gonna get the whole way up there. <laughs> we just left the parking lot. Just left it. And you're and you're busting out the surge shine. Yes, sir. What is what is in that? What is in the search line? It's yeah. apple juice, apple cider, brown sugar, white sugar, cinnamon, and a hell of a lot of alcohol. And then you made a special one for me because I don't drink alcohol. And it's got a cinnamon stick in it. So he said he didn't have enough to give me a whole glass. So. All right. Oh, I can smell that cinnamon. Woo! Woo! I mean, there's a whole cinnamon stick in here. Tastes like V8 tomato juice. Maybe because you don't have the alcohol. It really tastes like V8. It's weird. Know, it shouldn't. It's weird. I don't know. I'm gonna try it then. But it tasted off because he used salt instead of sugar. It's supposed to have sugar and not salt. So, uh, <laughs> All right, this is our first stop. We're gonna <laughs> jump over the ice chest. So I'm gonna step on it. <laughs> Make it a Bucky stop. Any good Texas road trip. Bucky stops. Alright. I need this, uh, I have a couple of Bucky sausage on a stick wrapped in tortilla. Been here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we got Wood Creek, then there's Stitch, the Shell Technology Center, uh, where they do a bunch of their research and stuff. But yeah, like they we built on a whole trade floor in 1000 Main downtown. And so that's something that like Somebody's it's very fatty. Got some good seasoning top. We're so cool. We're so cool. We're so cool. So cool. Got a nice sausage snap. The tortilla helps keep in some of the grease. I could use some mustard, but that's just a personal preference. I'm just gonna grab some. But, 
It's a windy day. Just one side. Where are y'all at? Oh, oh shut! What is this? We got a handle for your can. Plastic handle. Forget koozies, man. Forget no, it. No, no, no. I'm gonna drink this like a pint. Right? That's all I'll say. What do you say? So the serve? What do you say? Tuxedo handles? I think it should. It should. Yeah. Like the other one. Right there. 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 See the, the wind blowing there. I apologize if it gets too windy on the mic. Scott from Scotland. Scottish uh, Hammer. What's up, what's up, what's up? Scottish Hammer number one. Because 19 doesn't fit in the. Uh... <laughs> it's too long. <laughs> it's too long. We got a nice uh, nice crew of people that came out for the game, rode, rode the bus with us. Two bus loads? Three bus. Well, with the, with the staff, we got three bus loads. Yeah, but our uh, our shutter sank. This is really nice. We're all going in, all the supporters together. This one, it's really awesome. It's a windy day. You got your FC Dallas flag. You got your old Dynamo flag with the old logo. It's all sunburned. That is a total disrespect right there. To put our flag up, to put our old flag up, is an F you to everyone that's coming to support this team today. All right, we're, at, we're in uh, the stadium, Toyota Stadium, formerly known as Pizza Hut Park. I need to find the restroom, but we're not really allowed to to roam the concourse. We have some security watching us. They've got this like 360 camera set up right here. It's a it's a stick on a on a turnstile. That's what it is. Oh you love to see it. You love to see it. They taped up the top row, and uh, our border is taped down there, so we can't go below that. But we've got the stage over here, so the big net. There's nothing going on. We'll be able to see everything, okay? 
We've got the National Soccer Hall of Fame over there because the whole country and world revolves around Dallas. Even though we're not even in Dallas, we're like 45 minutes north of Dallas in Frisco, Texas. All right, Julio, what do you predict the score will be this afternoon in the Texas Derby 2022 at FC Frisco versus our Houston Dynamo FC? We're here at this high school stadium, like high school football, and I think the Dynamo are going to win 2-1. 2-1 is two to one. his prediction. 2-1. Do you think I can get one of these FC Dallas uh, fans to yeah, give me their prediction? Am I allowed? I, I ran into an FC Dallas fan. There are a couple of them littered around here. What's your name, sir? Chad Walsh. Chad, nice to meet you. What is your prediction for this match today? 2 nothing Dallas. Boom! Are these corporate? Is this a corporate sponsored drum line? Hey, what's up? Uh, they're corporate. Are you guys paid to be here or do you want to be here? Boom! All right. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I did not purchase anything in the stadium, but I was gifted this chicken strip, so I want to see if this is any better than the PNC Stadium chicken strips. No! It's cold. It's actually cold. It's like not room temperature. It's like they stuck it in the refrigerator before they served it. Thank you, though. Alright, our lineups are confirmed for this match. These guys all suck. Screw all those guys. For your dynamo, we got Papa Seves and Cash Money in front. Nice. Coco Vera in the mid. Martlow, Parker, and Dorsey, the bag and Clark and Keeper. This is your winning lineup for today's Youth of Dynamo FC. I love this lineup. Martlow's in because uh, Hidebi got a red card last match. And he's played well in his opportunities. You two actually live in Dallas. Yeah. You're actually from Dallas, but you're here with the Houston supporters. Well, I'm a huge Houston Dynamo fan, so I have to bring the guys out today. There you go, there you go. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, you're actually a surge member. I'm a surge you member, say. I live in Houston Heights. I love the Dynamo. There you go. And, and then right over your shoulder, we can see the, the FC Dallas supporter section, the Dallas Beer Guardians. Where are they? I don't see they're, them. They're pretty, they're pretty quiet over there. And this is a home. This is a home match, and we've got like twice as many people as, the, as them. And we took buses here. What's your excuse, FC Dallas? What is your excuse? Look at this guy. Nerd. Nerd.
50% of the, they controlled the ball 56% of the time. Each team had like four shots. We had one shot on target and it went into the goal thanks to a Sebas Ferreira Gazzolo. Let's make sure we keep this up for the second half, guys. All right, we're about to start the second half. Michael desperately wants to be in my video. There he is. <laughs> we're gonna be attacking, we're gonna be attacking this goal this half. So let's get some more goals. Let's destroy these bastards.
It's on the bus, guys. We are being escorted out by the event staff. These guys have kept a careful watch on us the whole game. Blowing pretty hard. Gonna close this out. Not gonna give you any of the stuff on the bus on the way back. It's gonna be not super fun because we lost. We got a long, we got a long ride back. We're gonna make some more Bucky stops. Uh, you know, we just didn't have what it took to win. We haven't won here since 2011. Thought it was gonna happen today. They scored. And we're like, all right, we can hold on to a draw. And it's six minutes of stoppage time, and they scored. And that's stoppage time. And some guys uh, giving give us a quiff. We got, we got some people. Uh, parking lot after the game. We lost. We're going home. It sucks, but in MLS, it's really hard to win on the road. It really is really hard to win on the road. And they just aren't aren't good enough yet. So all we have to do is on uh, July 9th when we play them again. When we play them on July 9th, we've got to take care of the business. So, all right. Uh, some uh, extracurricular activity going on that's that's great uh, the next dynamo match at home is going to be on the 30th against austin i won't be there i'm going to be in waco um dash playing tomorrow i'm going to be in vegas and uh dash playing again may 1st i'll still be in waco so next three dynamo related matches i will not be able to attend but i'll have other content for you so all that being said, remember to drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventures.